all right did we already go to sleep uh i guess i could crash on this couch sleep here later that day yeah naps are refreshing i probably shouldn't piss away my days like that okay my bad still need to clean that wall Am I supposed to go and meet her at the hospital? I'm pretty sure that's what I'm supposed to do right now. So I'm gonna do that. There she is. I've trapped the doctor in the elevator. Okay, why'd you do that? <laughs> Head on in so we can get him to change his mind. All right. Ooh. Oh, hey doc. Fancy running into you here. This elevator going up or down? It's ground floor, Tori. <laughs> of course we're going up. Right, of course. I can barely keep my head on straight these days. What the heck do you two want? Well, remember how we were having trouble with paying our bill here? It's not really my bill. We're here to bear our hearts to you one more time. Maybe there's something you could do to help us out of this uncomfortable financial bondage? <laughs> You're gonna help us for free and wipe out any of the existing bills for your services. Ha, huh, like heck I am. In fact, as soon as I get to my office, I'm calling security and telling them to keep you out of the building altogether. I don't think so, okay. I don't think that's a particularly good idea, Doc. Tori, show him. Definitely, okay, with pleasure. <laughs> oh gosh. How did you get that? Don't worry about that right now. All you need to know is that if you don't help us out, things aren't going to end very nicely for you. I'm sure a lot of folks would get a real kick out of this. Yeah? Are you sure you don't want it up on the faculty website? Alright, fine. You win. I'll make sure you aren't billed for anything here. And his heart grew two sizes that day. <laughs> it was a pleasure talking to you, doctor. Wait, before you leave, there's one thing you need to understand. This procedure is still very experimental, and I can't guarantee it's going to work. All of this aside, a life is still on the line. You don't care. What are you saying? I'm saying that even if things go smoothly with the procedure, death is still a real possibility. And that's outside this whole blackmail thing. Look, we're desperate. You can see that, can't you? Just don't let anything bad happen. I'm begging you. I'll do what I can, I promise that. It's just, cases like this rarely end well. Wait, what was wrong with him in the first place? Okay, prepare yourself for that. Well, this is my stop. Don't screw this up, Doc. So... I went on the elevator and <laughs> somehow ended up in the same spot. Alright, so it's nighttime. I. I hope nothing happens. I'm like really nervous about that. That kind of sucks. Can I go to work at this time of night? Probably not. Alright. Then. Since we did what we needed to do. I'm going to go ahead and sleep. Or can I check on him and then... No, they're going to say visiting hours are over. So I'm just going to sleep here. What is this thing? Is it like a cat? Yay, Haley's still gone. I'm gonna write another page in my journal because I don't understand why I wouldn't. Cool. Next morning. Alright. Beep, beep, beep. Message from the, the witch. Meet me at the hospital lobby now. Oh gosh. I'm so nervous. 
This game is like super duper unpredictable, so I, I don't think I watched the videos when you go on Steam to buy it or whatever. I didn't really watch any of the videos, I would just look at pictures and see if I'd like it, or if I just have someone tell me that it's a good game or I hear about it, I just get it. So. So the doc says my baby's gonna make a full recovery. Yes! I guess I owe you a thank you, don't I? I'm just gonna say not necessary. It's really not necessary. Dark F's my friend. Look, I'm sorry this turned into such a mess. I wanted to give you this as a thank you. Please tell me it's money. No, I received her necklace. Okay. Neither of us wanted to end up here, I know it. So why do you keep doing it then? How long until it's the last time? I don't know, okay? It's easy for you to sit there and judge me and my baby, but you don't know what you're talking about. It's not like turning down a piece of chocolate cake when you're on a diet. I, th I think it's, it's similar. <laughs> okay, it's just part of who we are now. We made our choice a long, long time ago. That's not good enough, Viper. I have to move on with my life now, and I can't be worried you're going to pull him under again. Um... <laughs> Kill yourself is an option? I'm going to say go to rehab. You need to check into rehab, Viper. We got lucky this time, but who knows how it'll go on the next one. You both need help, a lot of it. I beg you, get in a program and get clean. For both your sakes. Rehab? What, do you think we're made out of money? It'll be worth it if it gets you clean, won't it? We couldn't even afford our bill here. How the heck are we going to afford rehab? Even if we check into the cheapest place possible, it's going to cost at least $300 to get registered. Oh gosh. I knew this was going to happen as soon as I saw the amount of money. Um, I'm going to say take my money then. Because <laughs> I'm somewhat stupid, I guess. But I'm just going to say take my money because I'd rather them get in there than die and then it's my fault. Here, take my money. Oh no, wait, I just gave her my money. She's gonna use it on drugs. Promise me you'll use it to get in a program. You gave Viper $300 for rehab. I Thank you, Tori. If you use even a penny of this cash on more drugs, we're done. Forever. More importantly, you'll be done. This is your last chance, Viper. Take it. I feel really stupid now that I thought about that after I had chosen to give it to her. I'm serious. Why not let this be the wake-up call you've been begging for? It's over. You survived. Make it count. For his sake, make it count. I understand. I don't want to promise you anything, though. Oh my gosh. Then don't. Just promise yourself. You never gave a crap what I thought anyway. Ha, huh, I guess you're right. Tori, thank you. He's upstairs in the room if you want to check in on him. I just gave him I just gave her so much of my money. That's like a lot of it. I'm gonna have to like go work. Okay, he's okay. What do I do? Alright. I'm wondering if she just left with my money and went to buy drugs, but I seriously hope she didn't do that. Beep beep beep. Yes! Okay. Jack says, ready to leave town, meet at my apartment. That's awesome. I'm so ready to get out of here. I'm gonna check my money. I still have a good bit, I guess. Not anywhere near the amount I used to have. And he says he's ready to leave town. I feel like, is this gonna be the last time I can earn money? I hope not, because, uh... Oh my gosh, look at him! He's got his car! Check out this car I borrowed from my doctor friend. He's kind of a big deal. I'll be heading to Beaton later tonight. Meet me back here if you want to hitch a ride. Okay. I will. But as for now... I don't know. Alright, so I went to go see if Mrs. T would answer, and she didn't, because I figured if I'm leaving this area, I'm probably not going to come back here, and I thought maybe we would have to say something to her, but I guess not, so I'm going to go in here and work, because I just spent so much of my money on Viper, and I'm really actually nervous 
about the fact that we might not be able to earn any more money. Back again, eh? There's been talks about expanding the operation to new to a new San Verdano location soon, and they'll need to staff it with folks. Nothing else, champ. I believe in you. Alright, I got it. Let's do this. Oh, I forgot to mention. The doors are open, so free feel, so feel free to call it quits whenever you feel like it, alright? Yeah, okay. We've heard this. So, I'm probably going to do this, and then I'll just show y'all how much money I've earned when I'm done. Alright, guys. So... I just did that for a little bit, and I guess we'll see how much money I made. I think there's still more soy products to make. I'm going to actually quit now. Okay, so I made $117 in products today, and I get half of it. We'll see how much that was. 58 bucks. I guess that's good. Alright, so now it's night. And I need to go to Jack because I'm ready to leave. Here he is. Okay. So, you ready to head to Beaton? I am. I'm leaving. I'm leaving too as soon as I can. Okay. I'm not ready yet, or let's go to Beaton. Let's go. On to Beaton, I say. Hop in, friend. Let's hit the road. This is so cute. But he's driving on the edges of mountains. Don't think that's safe. But I like it. Oh my gosh, we're in a new place, you guys. <laughs> this is so cool. Okay. Well, friend, this is as far as I can take you. Thank you again for everything. You made a real difference in my life. It was no trouble at all. Good luck, Jack. Thanks, Tori. Take care of yourself. I hope you find what you're looking for. I'm gonna miss Jack. Dubstown, Salt City. Why am I in here? Oh my gosh. Meet the new boss. Achievement unlocked. Okay, say it again, folks. Let your voices echo through these streets. Down with unions, down with greed. Honest work is all we need. That's right, let's put an end to the corruption that's devastated our hometown. Goodness, did I come somewhere worse than where we were? It's time to make your, vo your voices heard, people. Okay. Sounds like some kind of protest or something, you think? We won't pay your unfair dues. We've caught wise to your ruse. <laughs> Down the river, sell us out. Not so long as we can shout. Yes, and our message isn't done here, is it? We're not stopping until City Hall takes note. Mayor Bob Horde and his union pals may have promised us security, but what do they do when things turn rough? They partner up with the big business fat cats like Macroshaft. <laughs> Oh gosh, sabotaging our local enterprises. All so that they can enjoy the massive profits off your backs while sucking the soul out of Beaton. Look out, Beaton, it's the big horde boulder. Better watch out, he'll run you over. Alright. There's a lot of dialogue, okay. These are the businesses our great-grandparents started, the places we got our first jobs. Now, they're all at risk of becoming sterilized, corporatized, homogenized heckholes. Okay, none of the union heads care about that, though. They only care about the bottom line. If they had it their way, the whole city would be run by Microsoft and its subsidiaries. Subsidiaries. <laughs> this protest is our only weapon. This strike, our only ammunition. Beaton's workers, big and small. We're on strike till Fat Horde falls. Stop talking! I want to personally thank you for your efforts, Beat Knights. Wow, that's what you call them? Beat Knights, you're the backbone of this city. Just remember to pledge your support in the upcoming election so we can get the resolution we deserve. In a few days' time, when you follow that old red brick trail to City Hall, remember who to vote for. Vote Trudeau. I don't know how to pronounce that. I'm going to say Trudeau. Trudeau, if you hate greed. Honest work will make you free. 
Thank you, Beaton. Now, I have one final announcement before I go. More talking. The reason we're here in the bus station's parking lot is because they've joined our cause. Effective immediately, the drivers and workers of this bus service are joining our strike. As a ceremonial gesture, I'd like all of you to wave goodbye as the last bus out of here departs. What? See, I knew I wasn't going to be able to leave. So now I'm stuck here. Crap. Alright, keep going strong, Beat Knights. Your city needs you. That's fantastic. <sighs> okay. I'm angry. Gosh darn strike, now how the heck am I supposed to get to San Verdano? Maybe Larry will have something to say about it. I think he said his place was up near City Hall. I guess I can follow this red trail and figure my way from there. Okay.